Okay, you guys, if you walk into any store right now, you're going to see all the hearts and candy and teddy bears and balloons. That's right, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Well, some people say they don't enjoy the obligation of yeah. the holiday, so how can we make the day work for us and turn it into an opportunity instead? Let's find out from our relationship expert, Kat Roby. Hi, Kat, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Thank you very much. Well, you look very ready for the holiday. I thought I'd go for it today. I love it. Well, <laughs> I actually love, I love Valentine's Day. I think it's a romantic time. I think it's an opportunity, just another opportunity to show our love yeah. for our significant other. But can I add to that actually? Yes, because you just set me up very well. Oh, I've, well. I've, I've, <laughs> look at that. I've actually always been given something kind and loving from my parents. Oh, nice. Or from a friend. I've actually got little flowers from friends before. So I think of this as a celebration of love. Aww. I don't think of it as a celebration of well, I do. I mean, I, I like the romantic part yeah. too, but I don't think of the obligation part of it because I really enjoy the reasoning of, you know, looking at it from a different perspective and going, oh, am I really doing everything I can in my relationship? Or who can I recognize today that I love or that's made a difference in my life? And I that's like kind of that. where I go with it. Because that kind of sets me up for my question is, is it becoming too impersonal this holiday? It feels like it, it especially does. when we start seeing all the corner stands with the little bears and the flowers <laughs> that you can pick up on the way home because yeah. you might not have thought about it. Like, oh, I don't know. For me, that's not necessarily where it's at. I'd rather get nothing, so to speak, than have something grabbed at the last minute because of its obligation. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily, I don't want to operate that way. So. Yeah, it's a different conversation in our house. You were talking about your birthday. <laughs> yeah, I said uh, my birthday is the day before Valentine's Day, and I've told people that, okay, this isn't a two-for situation. You know what I mean? You can't combine <laughs> just Valentine's so Day and my birthday. So she's got standards, you see? Well, yeah, I feel like, you know, every other girl that's, whose birthday is not right up against Valentine's right. Day gets two days to celebrate, and there's no mixing of that. My well, fiance I love that. that you do that, though. I mean, that's the thing where you get to at least talk about it. Yeah. You know, it's, it is important for you. It is important for you and your relationship to be able to have that separate feeling time and that's what none of us really remember we can do let's mm -hmm. talk about you know do you feel obligated or not like maybe you want to do something for your partner but they don't necessarily want to in return yeah. I've had some interesting discussions about that and I'm Big sure fights you, can happen well and I'm <laughs> sure you've heard this and I've heard many a man maybe even some women say this they say I don't do Valentine's Day you should celebrate Valentine's Day every, every day. day and that's their loophole <laughs> yes. out of the day then how are you doing it yeah that's yeah. what I want to ask exactly. what did you do today to celebrate your Valentine's Day. Did you ask your partner how his day was or her day was? Did you do something special? Did you ask any sort of open-ended question? Mm -hmm. Or you know, can you make the kids something? You know, can you run and get the oil changed? Right. Well, see, and that's a good point too. But okay, so for those of us who do want to do something special on Valentine's Day, but don't want to just go to you know the store on the corner and pick up a bear and candy, what are some outside <laughs> of the bears. box ideas? Yeah. I know. Um, well, I like to think of it as what can you do without? So. so what I hear from a lot of people, friends, clients, everybody, is it's gotten so commercialized, right? And that's where the obligation has come from. So what if we just spin that on its head? What can you do that would show how much you love, care, appreciate whoever without spending a dime? Oh. Right? So what if you wrote them a letter? What if you grabbed their hand and started dancing in the kitchen? I love that. Right? I, I saw one of your suggestions was to maybe open up some old pictures and reminisce and, and, yeah. and take a moment to do something yeah. like that, which I think is really sweet. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Something that you said actually that really hit home to me was, what if you weren't going to ever see that person ever again? What if something mm. happened? What would you want to make sure that they knew? Yeah. Or something that they don't know about you already that you want to share. Maybe kind of like take that opportunity to be a little more vulnerable in our relationship. Absolutely. I mean, we see it in all of the best tearjerker movies, right? Oh, what if we had one more thing we could say to them? Say it. Say it today. Share what you appreciate about that person. Say what you enjoy about them. Say what you're scared of about the future or what you're hoping to have in your relationship. Just. You can't, you can't imagine the kind of depth that, that would bring forward versus just going out and grabbing something. I don't want to discount flowers and bears. Right. They're great. It's the feeling associated with it. Are you doing it because you want to actually celebrate something? And can you, if you're one of those people who's one of the more obligation places, can you find a place where you can get more heartfelt about what it is versus just falling into a pattern? I think that's what we're talking about. You know, how do you celebrate every day? How do you take those moments, even if it's a goodbye kiss in the morning, Yeah. grab their face and look at their eyes and say how much you love them. Or say, like I said, to my parents or my friends, you know, thanks for what you've been to me over the years. It's important to me.
Well, I'm going to step in with a little bit of, you know, a little reality, a little bit of a bummer off of that because Valentine's Day can also be kind of uh, a day that someone goes, you know what, my partner, I blame them for no romance in ours. They're the person that doesn't, you know, and it's it's about, it's like a day that reminds you that maybe you're not getting the romance yeah. from your, your partner. But you say maybe we should be looking at ourselves if that's, that's what we're thinking. Right. If we're thinking it's our partner's problem that we're not romantic. <laughs> it's much easier that way. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. their fault. It's their fault. So if you find yourself in that mindset of, yeah. you know, so-and-so doesn't do this or that for me, or I don't feel appreciated, and here's another day where it's going to be apparent, force yourself to do something. Force yourself yeah. to do the thing you want the other person to do, because we can all fall into that rut of uh, kind of keeping score that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you really want to have a deeper connection with your partner, you're keeping yourself at an arm's distance with that thinking yeah. of you're not doing it right. So either talk about what's not feeling so comfortable yeah. or do something different that's going to create connection between the two of you. You getting vulnerable is going to upset that kind of stale dynamic enough to get things moving. And you know what? If you keep doing that and you find that your partner consistently doesn't meet you there, guess what? You might know that you are not in the correct relationship. Mm -hmm. There we go. But you can't blame it on that person anymore. You've done your work to say, right. I'm showing up. I don't know where you are. That's a good indication. Yeah. I think that's great. You know, and a really, really quick note, single ladies out there, single guys out there, go do something amazing for yourself. Right? Send yourself right? flowers. That's right. Go do massage. massage. Yeah, go do it. Oh, yeah. Do something for you. Define like it for day. yourself. Yeah. Define it for yourself. Love is love. No, no matter way we put it. Kat, I always love when you come on. I love this was a perfect time to talk about romance mm -hmm. and what it means and Valentine's Day. Just do something special. Absolutely. I think that's amazing. For even more relationship advice, call Kat anytime, 906-3392, or go online to robycounseling.com.